Did you or are you planning to get a new do for the new year? There's nothing better than fresh color, but now that you've got it, how do you plan on keeping it? Jason is here to help. And Jason, this segment was, of course, born out of all the questions you get about maintaining, extending, and enhancing that just salon colored hair, right? That's totally true, Tracy. So here's the thing that I've really noticed that people ask me a lot about, and that is what happens to their hair color after, let's just say, two or three weeks after getting it done in the salon. Oftentimes people, they start to um, notice that their hair fades a little bit, it goes a little bit brassy. So we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, why that happens and also what you can do to help kind of extend that length of your hair color um, between salon visits. So what people really notice is that blondes start to notice that their hair color starts to go a little bit yellowy. Some brunettes start to notice that their color goes very warm and redheads oftentimes notice that their hair color just completely fades out. So what's causing this? Well, the one thing you want to think about is that um, the minute that the hair color touches your hair, you're basically taunting out this kind of underlying pigment that just sits below the surface of your natural hair color. And that happens because, you know, um, once you start washing your hair a little bit or you start blow drying it, um, the color starts to fade a little bit. So for blondes, we start seeing this yellowy tone. Brunettes start noticing more of an orangey tone and darker tones not start noticing like this reddy kind of tone. And the thing that um, we have to remember, um, especially for redheads, is that this is just pigment that's being put into the hair. So it can fade out really quickly. And the one thing to remember is that oftentimes we have to know that the minute you step outside of the salon is very similar to the concept of driving a brand new car off the lot. <laughs> So it's just depreciating immediately. It's just going downhill. Okay, good to know. Now, given this information, what can we do at home between salon visits? That's right. So let's talk a little bit about just um, pigmented toners that you can use at home. So we're talking shampoos, conditioners, masks. These are all available on the market. Here we have a whole array of different products that we can use. So let's talk a little bit about what blondes need. So people who they notice that their hair color is going a little bit yellowy, you need to use something that's purple. So a purple shampoo, a purple mousse, for example. And that purple is going to help neutralize that yellow. It's just one of those things that yellow and purple, when they go together, they neutralize each other. And so you'll get a better looking blonde. Um, for people who are, who are experiencing more orangey tones in their hair, you want to utilize something that's kind of bluish in nature. So here we have a mousse that we're showing you uh, that's kind of like a bluey teal and that will help to neutralize any orangey tones in the hair and you're going to see like the brunette is just more natural looking. Anybody who notices like a red tone in like a darker tone that they don't really want to see, uh, you're going to have to use something that's kind of greenish or ashy in nature. Let's talk a little bit about how long these toning products use. So again, these are products that have a uh, temporary pigment in them. They tend to last when you use these products anywhere between three shampoos up to like 20, depending on the actual product. Um, here we have some extensions that I was playing around with. And on the left hand side here, you see um, more of a yellowy blonde. So that one's kind of like the before. And then next to it, we've shampooed it with a purple shampoo and you see more of a neutral tone. It's kind of, a, it's, it's just a little bit softer. It'll be better against the skin tones. And then we also have here a reddish uh, extension that we were playing with. And so on the left hand side, you have one that's a little bit more faded out. And then we used a really kind of strong, vibrant um, uh, red mask. And you can see how much that really amped up that red color and so this is what it looks like when you use these toning products okay are there any other things to note about hair color turning brassy beyond using toning rem remedies so sometimes it's the underlying pigment that we were talking about also what can happen is that there could be mineral buildup in the water that you're using so whether you're showering your hair you're washing your hair sometimes that water has minerals and it can leave behind a residue in the hair so it may not always just be that underlying pigment or fading what you can do um, there's this great product that i love by this company called color wow and they have this product called dream uh, dream filter rather and what you do is you take um, your dry hair and you spray it all over, you let it sit for a couple of minutes, and then you shampoo it out. And what that'll do, that'll actually help to remove some of that mineral buildup in the hair. How you know you have mineral buildup is sometimes not only is the color kind of drab or it's like darker or brassy, but it's also hard to comb your hair through. You'll find that it's a little bit sticky. And when you use this product, what you'll notice is that the color is a little bit brighter as well because it's lifting up that mineral as well as it's also going to make the hair less sticky to comb through. So lastly, Jason, what should people be doing as part of their regular maintenance program for color treated hair? So you do definitely want to um, think about 
preserving your color. You want, to, you want to use products that are going to extend the life of your color. So we're not talking about roots. Roots you can't really do much about. They're going to grow out. But in terms of your shampoo, you want to choose the right shampoos and conditioners that are going to help extend the life of the hair color. So look for products that say um, color care, color extend, color safe. Um, sulfate free shampoos are also a great alternative and you don't want to wash your hair quite so much you want to just kind of like only as needed um, and then let's talk really quickly a little bit about hair texture so every uh, texture can be different like myself when I color my hair if I go lighter with it um, as with Asian hair it tends you know what's beautiful about Asian hair is this kind of glassy shiny finish as soon as you start lightening it you start roughing up that cuticle so you have to implement oils to bring back some of that radiance if we talk about ethnic hair like really curly hair you definitely have to approach that color um, if you're lightening it at all very carefully it can tend to be a little bit more fragile so you want to then uh, implement more moisture some protein people with finer hair you want to also add protein to, uh, if you're kind of breaking down that hair and lastly if somebody has really coarse thick hair you want to add more moisture you want to make sure you condition it really well add some shine back into it and anti-frizz and hopefully that helps okay Jason so tone it down keep it neutralized and if all else fails throw on a hat